Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will discuss principle of virtual work applied for beams. Today's problem is two beams AE and BD are supported on rollers at B and C as shown in figure. Determine the reactions at the rollers B and C using the method of virtual work. In this problem, given is a beam AE is supported by a roller at point C. So the distance between A and C is 3 plus 2 that is 5 meters and total length of this beam A e is 6 meters and load of 500 Newton is acting at point E vertically downwards. There is another beam B C F D is hinged at D and supported by a roller at B and a roller at C is also present here. So the lengths are given here a load of 1000 Newton is acting at point F vertically downwards. So this beam A is also hinged at A. So in this problem, we need to find reactions at B and C using method of virtual work. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First, let us take the beam A, C, E. So the length from A to C is 5 meters and from A to E is 6 meters. There is a load of 500 Newton acting vertically downwards at point E and there is a reaction due to roller at C, RC acting vertically upwards. So at the end A, it is hinged. Now let us give a virtual displacement of delta E. So the beam will assume this position, A, C prime and E prime. So at this end, we have displacement of delta E. At C, it is delta C and at A, delta A equal to zero. So here we have two similar triangles, A, C, C prime, a e e prime so from these two similar triangles uh, we can write delta c by 5 equal to delta e by 6 so delta c displacement here and distance from a to c is 5 meters and similarly a to e is 6 meters and here displacement is delta e so delta c by 5 equal to delta e by 6 so from this we can write delta c equal to 5 by 6 into delta e now let us write virtual work equation. So the equation is RC into delta C minus 500 into delta E equal to zero. So here reaction is RC vertically upwards and delta C is also given in the upward direction. So plus sign. So here minus 500 into delta E. So minus is because 500 Newton is acting vertically downwards and displacement is given in the upward direction. So minus sign so rc into delta c minus 500 into delta e equal to zero so from this equation we can write rc equal to 600 newtons so reaction at c rc equal to 600 newtons now let us consider the beam b c f d so it is hinged at d and a load of 1000 newton is acting at f a distance from f to d is 3 meters and reaction rc is acting vertically downwards at c so the the distance from C to D is 6 meters and there is a reaction RB is acting at B vertically upwards. The distance between B and D is 8 meters. So let us give a virtual displacement of delta B at B in the upward direction. So the beam will assume this position D F prime C prime and B prime. So at B it is delta B the displacement at C it is delta C at F it is delta F and at D it is 0 delta d equal to 0 so here we have triangles d f f prime d c c prime d b b prime so all these three triangles are similar so from these three triangles we can write delta b by 8 equal to delta c by 6 equal to delta f by 3 so from this we can write delta c equal to 6 by 8 into delta b delta f equal to 3 by 8 into delta b now let us write virtual work equation. So the equation is RB into delta B minus RC into delta C minus 1000 into delta F equal to 0. So we have seen in the previous slides RC equal to 600 Newtons. So reaction at CRC we have calculated RC equal to 600 Newtons. So let us substitute RC into this equation and let us substitute all other values like delta B, delta C and delta B, delta F and simplifying we get reaction at B R B equal to 825 Newtons. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.